Hello students, welcome to the session Yoga Therapy in Final Year BNYS. Topic we are discussing about integrated approach of yoga therapy, the causes new factor of Panchakosha theory. So last class we are discussing about the stress and today we will continue about what is stress. Usually yogic con definition of stress is what? Stress is speed, excess speed. Speed means speed you know, how fast it will go. Stress is speed. So what is IAVT approaches? By all these methods, I will quickly go through these slides. By approaching the different modalities of yoga, you are trying to correct this speed in different levels. Annamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manomaya Kosha, Vijnanamaya Kosha. I will discuss about all these things to you in my future discussions. See what, what, what happens I have told in Adi Jav Vyadi. There is an excess speed. Speed I told, stress is speed. So that what it will do, disturbs our entire prana, we have to believe. The yogic concept believes about prana, prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat pratishtitam, mateva putran rakshasva shrishya prajnam shavidehinaiti. So prana is a great thing, basic fabric of the universe. For example, we can see so many lights, it needs an energy, it needs a control. But prana is not like that, prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat pratishtitam, it presents everywhere. That prana is disturbed when we stress stop. That prana is uh, disturbed. So that leads to, there is an imbalance in pranamaya kosha. We have to strongly believe this. See, vitality, immunity and prana is very important. I, several times I told in instances. See, patient, uh, sadhaka, we say in Shantivan, suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome. For every time they will get tiredness, tiredness, tiredness. Then we ask, what is the cause? But when we give all these practices, their tiredness will go. No nutrition will help to them. Nutrition in yoga is balancing Annamaya, Pranamaya, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya and Anandamaya Kosha. Due to the various trivialities, various conditions, various stresses, we are losing the energy. So, prana is imbalanced and that leads to disturbance. I already told, it is not only the Ajiranatvam, poor digestion, Atijiranatvam, excess digestion and Kujiranatvam, irregular digestion. Even breathing is also disturbed. Shwasa Prashwasa, Patanjali says. So, even breathing is also disturbed. You, you see, a, when you are fear, what happened? Some fear comes to you. Your breathing is increases. <laughs> why? Breathe, the fear in the mind. So, breathing is also responsible for that. So, that's why stress leads to various problems. So, that's why we have to understand this particular uh, concept. The seed of the disease is disturbed. Wrong direction, wrong quantities, constrictions, blocks, episode breathing. Episode breathing. So, these are all leads to the Adhi is. So that's why um, it is not that everyone will get a disease. See, stress will cause to everyone. Question may come to your mind being a student. Why only these people? So many other reasons are there for that. See, one person is stressed up means 10 persons will be stressed up. Five people will get diabetes. Five people may get hypertension. Not all. See, all alcohol will not get alcoholic liver disease. I have seen one condition today. I am just deviating my topic. People will drink throughout the day, 365 days, never suffer from liver disease. Only very, very, le very less people, not all. But it's people take 60 ml per day or a week because it may be various reasons why stress leads to diseases in several persons, not all. See, you can see here in the slide which organ is affected. The disease is settled down in an organ. That organ may be having a hereditary weak. Diabetes may be in the parents. Again, stress leads to that. Maybe by birth, his organ may be weak. By birth, see when the cells are growing and tissues are growing and organs are growing, that may be weak. So that's why there is a weak organ. He may affect that. Maybe with some injuries, some he might have fall down, fell, fell down in a childhood or some injuries, some accidents. That particular organ is affected. Not all. So disease is settled down in an organ. Maybe hereditary weak. Hereditary background or a weak organ by birth or injured organ. For example, I will say to my sadhaka, sorry, my friend is drinking, sir, so many, but I didn't get liver disease. I get, I take only weekly ones alcohol, monthly ones with the friends. The, I told even food is also causing now liver diseases. Our food today, what is available, fast foods, that also cause the liver diseases. Amoebiasis, silently killing you, your liver. liver. The moment a patient says an 80% liver is damaged, he didn't take alcohol, nothing. Now today what is food is available, amoeba says, silently the hotel foods will silently kill. If they are not hygienic, kill your liver. The moment you know your liver is 
uh, damage, doctor says you have to replace the liver. Otherwise, you will not live. So that is that is also there. You have to be very careful. So stage one, the how stress causes adi jeho vyadi. We are discussing about adi jeho vyadi. First of all, we suffer from manomaya kosha disturbances. See, stress will not cause disease directly. We all get alarm. Like what happened? From so many one month, sir, doctor, I am not getting sleep properly. I am restless. These are all. Here only how to stop. Irritable. Small small things become irritable. We are not going to decide anything. Indecisiveness. Unable to take any firm decision. Emotional outburst. Earlier your friend might have joked with you, but that day you will slap him. Emotional outburst. Depression. So, stage one. How we get adi jaha vyadi? Question comes in your students' mind that how disease, how we'll diagnose, how we can stop this in first stage. We can stop at first stage itself. So that the first stage is at manomaya kosha level. We start getting the symptoms. Symptoms means we get sleep difficulty to get sleep, insomnia. We become restless. Small small things were irritable, unable to make any decision, indecisiveness, emotional emotional outburst. Whereas depression, these are all. The first sign, first stage of adi jeho vyadi. Person is getting. Suppose we say hypertension, diabetes, ulcer, skin diseases, bronchial asthma, arthritis. These are back pain. These are all never starts in first. First we'll get our body resists this when we get stress. That time we got get disturbance in the psychological level. These are all the psychological symptoms. And in stage two, slowly we are reaching to the brana maya level. For mano maya. It leads to pranamaya level. In pranamaya level, what happens? There is a breathing irregularities. Breath irregularities will occur. So that particular breathing irregularity leads to the third stage of the disease, that is fatigueness, body ache. These are all in second stage. Second stage, there is a irregular breathing pattern and body ache and fatigueness, unnecessary, unexplained tiredness. You have to be very careful for that. Unexplained. If you run, if you walk, if you do, okay, you can take out the history. Yesterday I did some work in my home, so I am tired. But unexplained, un, there is no cause only. That is very dangerous. Even for malignancy also, you have to be very careful about fatigueness. If person is getting cancer, is attacking to his cells, means he will get tiredness and weight loss. They have to be very careful. Three important, two important, and loss of appetite. Three things are very important. You have to be very very careful about this. Stress related problems. Adi jeho vyadi stage third, where you, disease is settled down into the organ. Like you get acute gastritis, chronic gastritis, or they start getting the hypertension. BP is increasing, BP is increasing, or sugar is increasing. These are all comes in stage three. We call psychosomatic stage, psychic phase, psychosomatic phase, somatic phase, where organ is start. Uh, Disturbing here, organ is got uh, start affecting there, and in stage four, ulcer, ulcer. So that's why you have to be very careful. And uh, the last stage is very important. This is is completely either a you get a ischemic heart diseases in cardiovascular diseases, or you get bronchial asthma and emphysema, or you get the ulcer in stage four because this is fully settled down in organ. That time reversing is difficult. Stage one, stage two, we can reverse it. At least we recognize and we give proper yoga therapy. We can reverse it. So that's why uh, today we discuss about how a disease is caused, how how a disease, long-standing disease, leads to from manamaya, pranamaya, manomaya kosha to pranamaya, pranamaya to annamaya kosha, and similarly we studied about the disturbance in the mind. So disease is not directly affecting. There are different stages. Normally. A disease is settled down in annamaya kosha. Why only few people get this? Because either by birth, some weaknesses in the organ, or a hereditary background, or there is an injury to the organ, restlessness, irritability, indecisiveness, and emotional outburst, depression. In stage two, we discuss there is a pranic imbalances where we get breath irregularity and body ache. In stage three, it leads to acute gastritis, chronic gastritis, erosion, and stage four. It gives to ulcer. In the next class, we are going to study what is the remedy, how to correct this. That's important. In each level, how we will correct it, and what are the techniques we will discuss tomorrow. Thank you.